I try to make a large video talking about this Van de Graaff generator. That's the one on the left here. This thing on the right, I just found at the store. It is a sound activated little gadget. Inside of here, most of the regular air has been pumped out, which lets sparks go pretty long, despite not having as much voltage as the Van de Graaff generator. If we were to pump all the air out of this room, we would turn, well, the whole room into one of these. Uh, and instead of the big long video uh, with how the Van de Graaff generator uh, picks up feathers or, or different little things like that, you can see that in person when I show you. Instead, I just want to put this right here and show you the terrifying uh, thing that I've made. That's That's... That's how a lot of my lessons go. I want to show you the terrifying thing that I've made. Let's let's just watch. Well, I'm happy. This is going to be awesome in the classroom. By the way, I tried to do the same thing like that, where you pump out all the air and you make a spark. Um, I saw somebody who used a syringe, and if you put a cover on the end of the syringe and you pull back on it, it's really hard to pull back because in that space right there, I'm making an almost well, I should not say an almost perfect vacuum. A pretty good vacuum compared to air pressure. So you can pull back on a syringe that's capped and make a little vacuum in the end. When I held it next to the Van de Graaff generator, I did not see sparks through it because I think I may need an alternating current. So that's more for a Tesla coil, and that's where I've seen it work. This one uses static electricity. Not alternating, not a Tesla coil. And now it's safe. So I'm going to box this up, bring it out in the classroom, same as that little guy right there. Van de Graaff generator's name is Vandy. I'd like to think of a name for this guy. So that's all.